Hello and welcome to another installment of Korean Eats with me, Dan. It's a very beautiful sunny day here in Seoul. I'm next to Sogang University. And today's edition is going to be a special breakfast edition of Korean Eats. Which is why I've chosen for today's food, boiled eggs or salmyun geram. What's special about these particular boiled eggs is that they are soft boiled eggs. You could easily just boil some eggs and put them in a packet, but Korea has taken it one step further and made these eggs perfectly soft boiled. They are nice and hard for the whites, and on the inside the yolk is nice and soft. So, without much further delay, why don't we give it a go? Very easy to open packet. Lots of points there already. So here's this, uh, here's one egg. Uh, which has already started sweating because of the intense heat this morning. It must be somewhere around 30 degrees centigrade. I'm going to just crack this open. Now I can just slowly peel away. A little tip for you. If you have a bin handy, the packet serves as a very good bin to get rid of the eggshells. You've got to be careful when peeling not to peel away too much of the uh, whites of the egg or albumin as they call it in the world of science. I'm doing a very bad job of that right now. There's egg everywhere. Almost done. Egg is probably my most favorite breakfast food. Usually I have it fried or in an omelet with all sorts of other things in it like spinach or kimchi. Boiled egg will do, especially for the convenience. But there we go, a nice peeled egg. As you can see, it's fully peeled. Looks rather good, doesn't it? I'm gonna just take my first bite into it and see how soft it is in the inside. Mmm, wow. That's good. Take a look at this. As you can see, the, the whites, the albumin are very hard. There's a little bit of softness on the inside, a bit of runniness. But the yolk is still quite soft. It's hard enough that it won't just go everywhere, but it's soft enough that it's still quite appealing. It has an appealing texture. Very nice, very easy to eat. What's most impressive about this is that even in a conventional kitchen setting, getting a soft boiled egg just right is very difficult. Korea has managed to come up with some way to do this on a mass scale, perfect, every time. That's awesome. Well done, Korea. Mmm. First egg done. Luckily, you can buy them in packets of two. So I have a second egg here. Give it a little crack. There we go. Hopefully I'll do a better job of peeling this one than the last one. Most of the time Korean people don't actually get these eggs just to eat them on the street, like I am. It isn't unheard of, but actually people often buy ramen from the convenience store. Get one of these eggs and plop it in. Mix it up, very nice. Now, when you're buying soft boiled eggs in Korea, make sure they actually are soft boiled. You want to look at these pictures with the yellow yolk showing, otherwise you're going to get completely raw eggs. And when you try and peel them open to eat them, you're going to have egg everywhere including on your face. And there you have it. A well-peeled egg. Delicious. Here goes. This one's even better than the last one. So I've already described the texture of the egg. What about the taste? Well, it tastes like an egg, as you can probably imagine, just like any other egg. But it's a little bit salty, tastes a bit buttery. Maybe some onion. Very smooth, smooth texture. I'm kind of sad that this is my final piece. Mmm. Delicious. So there you have it, I finished my last egg. I would say this is most certainly a buy. If you're ever looking for some kind of protein based snack and you're on the move here in Korea, this particular brand here is quite nice. It says Kam Dong Lan, which means with sensitivity. I think they are particularly sensitive eggs, maybe treated with care. Give it a go. They cost about a thousand won usually. You get two eggs for a thousand won, 50p. Can't really beat that, that's pretty good. And then as a little bonus, crack open some nice canned iced coffee to wash it all down. Cheers, thanks for watching.